Hi guys and welcome back to Science Now with CZ. <laughs> okay, so today we are talking about thermochemistry one. We already did our experiment with our spirit lamps and we lit them on fire and let the heat transfer to our Erlenmeyer flask where we had 100 milliliters of water. So we have that our system, in this case, will be our alcohol. Today we use pentanol, so that's why we wrote pentanol, but whatever alcohol you use is the system. On the other hand, our surrounding is the water that's inside the Erlenmeyer flask because the system is releasing heat as it combusts and the surroundings is gaining, the water is gaining the heat released by the system. So we have our formulas. Since we really, what we really want to find out is what the heat released from the system is or how much heat the alcohol released. So, but we cannot really measure that. So we try to find the heat of the water, the heat absorbed by the water and relate it to our system. And that is done by using Q equals MCAT. So in Q equals MCAT, Q means heat. It's always in joules. M is the mass. Here, since it's the Q equals MCAT of the surroundings, the mass that we will be using is the mass of the water. We had 100 milliliters of water and the density of water is one gram per milliliter. So we have 100 grams of water. That's the mass that we will be using. Specific heat, CS, is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. That is also related to water. That is the specific heat of the water. And then we have the change in temperature. You have your final temperature, minus your initial temperature, and that will give you change in temperature. It has to be in degrees Celsius because that's what our thermometer measures. So how do we relate this to our system? We have our Q equals MCAT for the water. Whatever heat absorbed by the water is whatever heat was released by the alcohol or the system. So the heat of the system, sorry, the heat absorbed by the surroundings is the heat released by the system. So you have um, opposite signs. And then we have that the heat of the system is exactly the same as the enthalpy of the system. Because there was no um, temperature, no uh, pressure change or volume change, since those are constant, no work has been done. Therefore, Q of the system, which is the alcohol, is equal to enthalpy, change of enthalpy of the system. This number has to be in kilojoules. So whatever you have here, you need to convert it to kilojoules. And finally, this is what we actually want to find out. We want to actually find out the change of enthalpy of combustion for each alcohol. Therefore, we have the change of enthalpy of the system divided by the moles of the alcohol burned. So whatever change in mass that you found when you mass the alcohol before and after, that is the mass that you will convert to moles and use in this equation. 